Hi everybody, it's Heather Kalea with Open Mind Healing. And I'm doing something I don't usually do today. I am sharing a message from the angels, something that's been channeled through me. And I have been asked to share it with you. So I usually only reserve this for my clients. And I keep this very private in my own life because I know there's a lot of people that channel and there's a lot of people out there that do things to help others but sometimes the information can get distorted and people tend to totally focus on the one outcome so I don't like to share too much because we're always changing we're always in the in this evolution of change so with that being said I'm gonna share a vision and the vision was that I was on a platform on a mountain and on this platform was a jaguar pacing in front of me. I was in my human body but then I noticed the agitation of the jaguar, the black jaguar and it was ready to strike and attack me when I was able to increase my vibration and become light. My whole body became light. I bent down and kissed the third eye of this jaguar and grabbed the head. And in embracing this jaguar, it stopped and sat down and looked up and became the condor. I then turned from light into the eagle and we soared together around the world. Now we're in the cycle, if you follow any of, of the ancient traditions, this is the time of the condor and the eagle. This is a 500 year cycle. I was given the opportunity to sh be shown this beautiful vision and I was included in this great event of change. And What's happening is that our bodies are becoming more light, more, um, the particles in our body are accelerating quickly, very, very quickly. And our bodies need less food, we need a lot more water, we need more time in meditation, we need more time in, in, um, social activities we need to get out around people like a tribal being like in the tribes you know when people would get together and the community we've lost that along the way and it's so important and we have to come back to that and the message that they want to share with you is that we are like children in this incubation period and I can see a child in a womb and with that you send light to this incubation of this child and we need to incubate the next seven generations. The other message that has been very, very persistent is that we have come to this point, this triangular point, uh, like, a, like a pyramid or an edge of a sword, and it's time for those who want to change the world to step in and pierce through the veil. Um, we need inventors, we need new ideas, we need new invocations, we need new jobs, we need new a new way of living. The way is the way is no longer serving us that has been in in our time frame. So now we need to focus on the next seven generations and embrace the children that are coming in and see them transforming this world for such a beautiful, beautiful place. And I channel uh, and I get visions a lot because I am psychic, I'm a medium, and also a shaman. I make sure the information that comes in is not distorted in any way. 
I keep my my channel clear and the that is the biggest message is the next seven generations and uniting the tribes around the world to become one to become one tribe and I know you've heard that before but having seen that vision and been witness to that vision I can feel my body accelerating every day I feel like somebody plugged me into a light socket the Sun has a lot to do with that and we are all energy and we we are living in this amazing time there is going to come a time where there's going to be another mass exodus and those that choose not to follow this path and find the truth of who they are in the spirit of who they are <clears throat> will find it very uncomfortable to be here and won't want to be here anymore we have to accept their journey we have to accept their choice not to be here we need to embrace our own journey not altering the journey of someone else but possibly coaching them and teaching them the possibilities that are out there of all the all the new ideas and all the the new the new way of living coming from the heart center coming from the third eye we are becoming light our bodies are less dense we need less food and we need to ask our body what it needs before we eat it and before we take it in and allow this process to be in the quantum at all times the quantum is in complete perfection of everything we're exactly where we need to be right now in this moment everything is perfect that's being in the quantum and Fukushima is a big concern and the guardians are watching very closely over Fukushima and we have to ask ourselves you know in this moment how can I bring forth perfection in this moment how can I be the best me I can be the biggest message that they have to share is do not fear let go of the fear and the negative and the dark energies because they no longer serve us they are no longer necessary to focus on possibilities opportunities new inventions new jobs new a whole new way of living we need to embrace this we have to really step outside of this comfort zone of living in this square box Take the lid off and soar. With that being said, namaste and thank you for listening. And again, I don't usually do this. This is not something I usually do. I don't channel for the public. But this was necessary for you all to hear. And I hope that you embrace what I had to say. And really think about every choice that you make that you're making a choice for the next seven generations of a better world. Thank you so much. Please check out my website at openmindhealing.com for any more information or any questions. I'd be happy to help. Take care. God bless.